Oh. This thing, I started over. Wait, okay. What? Yeah. I had, I'm sorry, y'all. I had a call, so this is this um, new video. But, um, yeah. I, um, I ended up, I had to go see, I woke up in the morning to go see, um, a therapist, like a massage therapist, they got like a, they give you massages at the cancer center. So I woke up, my like, like I, my butt was, whoa, I wouldn't take my bath. I couldn't sit in the tub. It, it was just ridiculous. So I went to the, um, <laughs> to the cancer center and the, the, um, the, I was telling the lady about it. And she told me to get some, um, I think it was hydrocortisone cream. Some type of cream she told me to get and to put on there and I did it it did just when I went home I got in the bed I felt worse sir um, I sent my son and, and his girlfriend to go get the, the cream I put it on me it didn't help um, I started kept being hot it was hot so my mother was calling me asking me how I was I feeling and I kept telling her that it was hot she said do you have a fever so my daughter got the thermometer and I had a uh, hundred and two fever so I took some Tylenol and I lay there but I really couldn't like drink I couldn't drink nothing it was like everything was nasty it was just nasty it's like oh, I'm just sitting there I'm laying there half dead and finally my son and his girlfriend came in and I told him because I took the temperature again and it was it was still a hundred and two. So I went to the emergency room and they said that um I had a fever and they they did a um let's see, I don't know what it's called. It's what it, it's something they do when they take your blood to check and see if you had an infection and the stuff was turning colors and stuff and um they was looking at my butt. And it was like, well, you got an abscess on your butt. So I was like, oh my God. So no, I got an abscess on my ass. So I was like, it was, it's like, it was like a, a, a bump, a bump that just got infected or something like that. So they admitted me in the hospital because my temperature was high. My temperature got up to 107. Okay. I was like. I, I was there, but I wasn't there. And, and my my other son, um, girlfriend Tasha, she was there. She stayed there, and like I would fall asleep, and I'd be like Tasha, and she'd be like, "Yes, ma." <laughs> I, was, I was just checking to see if you was there, but they kept trying to get me stuff to get the temperature down, but I kept throwing up. I when when I was got at the hospital, I kept throwing up. They had to take tests. Um, like MRI, MRIs or something, some type of test. They kept doing um, some type of test where they put the stuff in the uh, um, IV and it go and make you feel warm. And every time I got up, I, I said, "Give me the bucket." I threw up. I kept throwing up. I threw up in the room. I don't know how many times I threw up in that doggone room. Okay. Um, the next day they had some, um, type of people come in there. I don't know what type of people it was, but they came in there and, um, uh, they like, they cut the, um, abscess and squeeze all that stuff out. So I had caught an infection because my immune system was low and, um, I couldn't fight the infection. So it was making me sick and like, I, like, I like Basically, I almost died in there because they were they they kept telling me, April, April, um, we're gonna have to give you a um, put the uh, I don't know how what it is. It's, it's like when they took the take towel on, they put it in your butt. It's like we're gonna have to put it in in a, um in your butt because you can't keep nothing down, and we got to get this temperature down, or we're gonna have to send you down to ICU. So I ain't never been to ICU. For but so I just let them do it because I didn't think I wanted to be in ICU. <laughs> okay, so I let them do it and my temperature finally broke, but I was still like in and out. I think they kept me drugged up. I was in there for like a week. I didn't even realize it. 
I was in there for like a week until I was holding my granddaughter in my arms and I looked at the band on my arm and I was like, oh my God, like I've been in here almost two weeks, you know? So I had a, I had a time up in there and they had to pack, they had to pack my wound and stuff like that. I was in there for like 14 days. They would not let me go. They was talking about putting me in a nursing home. I told them I wasn't going to no nursing home. So we had to find somebody to, you know, clean the wound and pack it. Cause I couldn't, obviously I couldn't see it cause it was on my ass, you know? So, um, <laughs> I, my daughter, she finally did it and I was able to go home. But yeah, it, it, that was just crazy. But my last, the last chemo treatment I had, I didn't have to go to the hospital. I didn't end up in the hospital. It wasn't too bad. Like I was in pain, but it wasn't too bad. I was tired of hospitals. I didn't want to go back either. But yeah. So after I did the um, after the my last chemo treatment, I did the ringing. I rung the bell and stuff like that. It was cool. So I don't know, but. You know, I know I needed the chemo to save my life, but if it wasn't for me wanting to live, I don't think I would have did it. Now, it, I was sick. I was so sick. That stuff made me sick, and I didn't want to take the last treatment. And But my doctor convinced me. She was like, you need to. It's very ne necessary. This is a necessary treatment. You must do it. So I, I did it. I did it, and I got it over with, and I'm still here. But, um, I'll be back with another video soon. Thanks for watching.